Hello, my name is QJ. I am the Chief Program Officer of Tech Goes Home, and today I am going to be exploring our instructor portal with you. Um, so, uh, first of all, thank you so much for becoming a Tech Goes Home instructor. Um, we're really excited to have you on board with us. Um, we have a lot of resources that will be helpful to you. Um, and I'm going to be showing you what those are. Um, most of them will be housed on our Tech Goes Home website. So here I am on our Tech Goes Home homepage, um, and the homepage address is techgoeshome.org. And I am going to uh, hover my mouse over the trainer section um, and then click on it. So when I go to trainers, um, here's where all the resources for those who are teaching a Tech Goes Home course um, will be. So we have um, a section where it talks about how you can become an instructor. We also have a section where uh, there's a list of those who have created an online account that's called Trainer Profiles. We have a trainer handbook that has a um, step-by-step guide on how to run your Tech Goes Home course. Um, today, I wanna kind of stick to the three categories near the bottom, which is trainer's content, distance learning resources, and the forum. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create an account if you don't have one already. Um, and we have a really easy way of doing that. Um, so from the trainers page, um, you're gonna click on log in right here. Um, so here is gonna prompt you to either log in using Google or with an email. Um, and if you've never logged in before, you're gonna click on sign up. So I'm gonna do that and then uh, the sign up option also allows you to sign up through either a Google account or with an email. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my Gmail account that's associated with my organization. So I've selected uh, to use my Gmail account um, and now my account is waiting approval. So I'm gonna click on okay. All right, so now I'm going to pause and then I'm going to show you what, um, once you sign in, what the page will look like. All right, so I've been approved by our administrator and here I am logged in um, as me. Um, so after you've logged in, your uh, page is going to look like this. Um, so from here, let's go to the trainer's content page. Um, so we have a ton of resources here that's going to be um, around uh, helping you set up, um, plan, and implement, and run your course. Um, so in the trainer's content page, you'll see a few different things. So on the right here, we have um, just different uh, categories. Um, so schedules and links is at the top. Then we have documents, lessons, plans, flyers, and resources. So from the top under the schedules and links, we most likely will have the, the most updated deadlines for you. Um, so if you are new to Tech Goes Home, you'll have to attend a, an orientation. And then after that, there's a, a deadline for course applications. And then that deadline will be for courses that are running um, in the timeframe below. Um, so scrolling down a bit, um, course applications, again, those of you who are new to us um, who want to start a course, this is the link for you to click on. This is where you can submit um, an application letting us know that you are ready to start a Tech Goes Home class. Um, we also have the machine order forms here and the post-training survey as well. Um, we have our most updated trainer newsletters here too, um, in case you missed out uh, on an email from us. Um, under the document section, we have our participant agreement forms. So these are the forms that we ask our learners to complete um, every time they start a course. Um, it's a good way of sharing the expectations of um, being a Tech Goes Home learner and what is the requirement for qualifying for a Tech Goes Home device and internet. Um, so this is something that uh, 
is for you um, to collect from your learners. It doesn't have to be submitted to us, um, but just a helpful resource for you to talk it, uh, let your learners know what the ex expectations are for the program. Um, and we have those in several different languages. Um, I'm not gonna go over everything here, but I do wanna point out a few other things. Um, I think one of the most exciting uh, accomplishments for our learners is being able to graduate from the Tech Goes Home program. So we have two customizable certificates um, that you can use and edit and distribute um, to your learners once they complete the course. So they are in Google Slides form. And once you click on that, um, you can e either choose a vertical version or a horizontal version, whatever uh, feels right to you. So the certificate will look like this um, and here are directions to making a copy. So that's there for you. Um, we also have uh, just blank certificates for graduates if you just wanna print them out and then handwrite their names. Um, so moving right along, uh, we also have lesson plans. So this is uh, an important part of your uh, uh, role as the Tech Goes Home instructor is figuring out, okay, what do I want to include in the lessons that I'm teaching? Um, so we have uh, some really helpful resources here. Uh, we have a lesson plan structure guide. So uh, it kind of runs you through uh, what are some things that you should be thinking about as the teacher of the course. Um, so this is a really helpful resource for anyone who's starting out as a Tech Goes Home instructor. Um, we also have a template for uh, creating the, the lesson plan that you can also make a copy of um, or print it out and write on. Um, we have a very detailed version and a shorter version. So um, these are all uh, editable uh, for you to use. Um, following the documents, we have flyers as well. So for those of you who are recruiting for your course, um, we have them in for the different programs that we're offering. Um, something else that's a nice uh, attention grabber would be the device flyers, um, because they do say that um, as a Tech Goes Home graduate, you're eligible for a device. Um, so that's helpful to use as well. Um, we have program flyers in different languages. Um, and then moving on to the resources. So these are additional um, helpful information for you as the instructor. Um, we have some resources for all programs, um, for the small business program and for parents. So that sums it up um, for the, uh, this page, the trainer content. So now I'm gonna to go to the distance learning resources, which is the following tab here. So the distance learning resources are for those who are running um, a course remotely um, through either Zoom or Google uh, Meet. Um, and we have some resources specific to distance learning um, so these are, this is the slide where uh, if you've done a distance learning orientation, this is where you can find the slides. Um, and then we have some information about the uh, geographical areas that we serve. And then you'll find um, similar resources um, around recruiting, look for learners, um, and we have some flyers around distance learning. Okay, moving right along. Um, a new feature that we have is the instructor forum. Um, so we just launched this very recently, um, but we've already had some activities here. So one of the great things about being a Tech Goes Home instructor is that you are a part of a teaching community. Right now we have about 300 plus uh, Tech Goes Home instructors, over 200 partner organizations in the greater Boston area. So that's, uh, a wealth of resource uh, right there. Um, and this is a way for you all to uh, communicate with each other. Um, so you see that uh, there are different topics here already that people have posted um, and you can create a new post at any time. And then the folks who are registered 
um, under the instructor's uh, content page can respond. So please don't hesitate to use this resource. It's a really great way to communicate with others like you um, and to share resources that you might not know about. So that is everything we are going to be sharing about the instructor uh, page um, from the Tech Goes Home website. Thank you so much for watching this video.